Storm or Aurora Monroe was born as an atmokinetic, otherwise an individual with the ability to sense and manipulate the energy connected to the Earth's atmosphere. All of the tiny particles around us, including the surrounding oxygen and nitrogen we breathe in, contain their own tightly bound electrons that normally don't separate from the particles themselves unless something forces them to, like the movement of wind and water and clouds that causes some particles to lose their electrons while others gain a bunch and become charged creating lightning. Visually in the X-Men, whenever Storm's eyes glow white, this isn't just for a cool effect. As it's in these moments, Storm is not actually seeing the world as solid matter, but rather as energy, as electrons. That exists in all particles, move around via friction created by the wind brushing against an object, and even those buzzing around in you and me. Whenever we see Storm shoot out a lightning blast, she is pulling the electrons together out of the air, and the more she gathers, the bigger the bang. Whenever she decides to point and release it, Storm also has the power to make as powerful of steel shredding winds as she wants, showcasing that as an otherwise Omega level mutant, designating Storm as one of the rare mutants with an undefinable upper limit to her power, Storm can control the temperature of air and water itself, specifically how fast the individual particles within the wind and water drop droplets in the surrounding air are moving, speeding them up to heat them up or slowing them down, chilling them, forcing the air around her to move as fast as she desires. With these abilities, Storm has casually created winds to carry her teammates like Jubilee, who weighing 115 pounds or 56 kilograms, would require a tropical storm force of 80 kilometers or near 50 miles an hour, unless you are 136 kilogram or 300 pound Wolverine, who then needs wind blowing more like 110 kilometers or 70 miles an hour, if not a little more, to soar through the sky. With Storm easily ramping these speeds up to well over 190 kilometers or 120 miles an hour to pick up massive objects like our 440 kilogram or 976 pound blob with pyro and avalanche included, Storm often creates tornadoes to suck up the rubble of large buildings, going so far as to lift up a six story building, being near 72 feet or 22 meters tall, and roughly weighing over 4,080,000 kilograms or 9 million pounds, crashing the whole thing on the juggernaut, making her tornado in this instance well above anything on the international F1 to F5 scale, as she very simply creates wind speeds of over 350 kilometers or 570 miles per hour. But it gets better, as Storm is also seen pushing back a raging tsunami from destroying the entirety of the Brooklyn Bridge using similar wind speeds if not nearing more like 1200 kilometers or 750 miles per hour that is now spread out over a distance of 1.8 kilometers or 1.1 miles. And this wind strength is what she uses to on repeat create the mother of all hurricanes in X-Men 97. Ones that blow apart our gigantic steel Sentinels and easily rank well above the worst hurricanes or cyclones ever recorded, like 2015's Hurricane Patricia, who had recorded wind speeds of 345 kilometers or 215 miles per hour, making it look more like an annoying breeze as storm cyclones merit their own category that doesn't exist. Storm's lightning, on the other hand, is so incredible that she uses it to often completely incapacitate people. With the amount of electricity needed or rather the sheer volume of electrons, the amplitude of how many she would need to conjure to knock someone out, not being very high. And often the electricity Storm uses to knock her foes unconscious, likely also gives them severe burns, is incredibly painful, can cause respiratory failure, and worse, can cause their heart to clamp, otherwise forcibly shut and stop beating, with death ensuing if someone doesn't give them immediate CPR. On its own, lightning can reach temperatures of up to five times as hot as the surface of the sun, otherwise 28,000 degrees Celsius or 50,000 degrees Fahrenheit, allowing Storm to easily blast apart or just vaporize steel locks and is more than enough heat for Storm to completely turn all of the sand around her into glass. And combined with her wind speed, Storm can use this glass and her lightning to completely shred apart dozens of X-Men stated six meters or 20 20 
feet tall sentinels. That weigh 1,800 kilograms or 4,000 pounds each like they're made out of Play-Doh. Storm can fly as fast as any wind can go, often flying around 482 kilometers or 300 miles per hour. But Storm can fly upwards to somewhere in the high 900 kilometers or above 600 miles per hour if she really wants to. She can freeze water and create massive mist, snow, or hailstorms that quickly cover entire cities as she pleases in seconds, even creating what is known as torrential rain or the heaviest type of rain that occurs on the planet, almost immediately inducing flash floods that can wipe away anything that isn't bolted to the ground, made of steel, and is the size of a small building. In one episode, we even see Storm put out over a dozen acres of farmland that were on fire, drenching about 10 football fields at once. And other than freezing massive robots, she once froze the entire pool in front of the Lincoln Memorial, whose perimeter spans 4,400 feet or over 1,300 meters in length, and holds approximately 6,750,000 US gallons or 25,600,000 liters of water in about two seconds flat. With her energy manipulation, Storm can easily change the temperature of her body, making her practically immune to the temperature of whatever environment she is in. And beyond that, she seems to be able to transmute her suit out of thin air, except for the fact that many stories say that she actually keeps her costume in her bracelet, but yet she somehow uses her powers to regrow her hair and gain a completely new costume, telling us that perhaps she can manipulate energy to not only stimulate her hair follicles, but to full-on form frickin' fabric? Despite being an Omega-level mutant, Storm does have a major drawback and weakness. Unlike my growing strength of placing science where it doesn't belong, Storm isn't extremely durable like some of her teammates, being much more easily knocked unconscious by laser blasts and other villains, and her powers are limited only by the strength of her will and body. She is easily affected by her emotions, and if she gets angry, she can accidentally manifest a thunderstorm inside the mansion. After a childhood trauma, Storm is also extremely claustrophobic, and can be psychologically taken out if trapped inside a tight space for too long. But if none of this was very interesting, then I saved one fact for last. Storm is ecopathically linked to the Earth itself and stemming from a long line of African priestesses that have great magical potential beyond any mutant abilities they also have, she can feel the life of everything around her with any extreme ecological changes causing her psychic pain. Pain that is still less than characters like Wolverine feel after getting a nuclear bomb dropped straight on top of him, whose science behind his abilities and feats we go over in these videos right here. See you in the next one.